You can't let it get to you. 13 years ago, Kevin Taylor broke his leg, then contracted a nerve disorder called RSD, or reflex sympathetic dystrophy. I didn't really think much about it. I was, you know, strong. Within probably 10 years, he was in the hospital at least once a month. Doctors told Kevin he was the worst case of RSD that they had ever seen. So in 2009, they amputated Kevin's leg, leaving him bound to a wheelchair. And the most remarkable thing about Kevin, all that he's dealt with, he never complains. The way I look at it, it could always be worse. But last October, Kevin's life changed in one split second when he met his fiance, Kim Didway. Walked in, he turned and had grin from, from ear to ear. And it was an instant connection. The first time I saw her, it was love at first sight. Kevin's wheelchair didn't matter. They fell in love. Him being in a wheelchair never phased her one bit. I don't see the wheelchair at all. I never have. She looks at me as I'm not in a wheelchair. I mean, she looks past that point. It doesn't bother me because it's the person inside, not who they are physically. And his, his heart makes up for any lack of limb that he has. So they are getting married at Cap Rock Winery. He's the most amazing human being I've ever met in my entire life. But what the bride doesn't know is that Kevin has been going behind her back and taking physical therapy lessons and actually learned how to walk. So today at their wedding, he's going to stand up and walk her down the aisle. Whenever the preacher says, everybody, please stand, um, I'm going to stand up. Uh, my groomsman is going to take my wheelchair from me. I'm going to walk to her. It was just like love was the medicine he needed. With Kim as his medicine, he's gained the strength to learn to walk. And I'm going to make it the best day of her life. I just saw him walk for the first time ever. And there are, I'm blown away. I about fell over backwards. <laughs> I honestly did. From there on is, I want to be out of this wheelchair. <laughs> Proof that unconditional love can make miracles happen. Nothing has stopped him before, but now that, that he's, he's walking, there's nothing that's going to stop him. Nothing. The lesson, be positive, love often, and make every day count. Live every minute of every day like it's your last day. Ashley Claster, Fox 34, News at 9.